Hi, welcome to activation functions. Here, the activation function defines output of the given input or set of inputs which defines the output of the neuron based upon given inputs. These neurons will deactivate or activate based upon the input to get desired output. It also performs nonlinear transformation by activating the neuron based upon the input to get a, get a better results on the complex neural network. The activation function helps to normalize the output of any input which, which range is between plus 1 to minus 1. The activation function must be efficient and it should reduce the computational time because the neural network sometimes trained on millions of data, say, data points available in the given data set. The activation function decides in any neural network that given input or receiving information is relevant or it is irrelevant. So based upon the input it may be relevant or irrelevant the activation function decides the neural 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 network to activate the each neuron so here the structure of the uh, single neuron is given the inputs are given through the uh, axons using the dendrites then here we are having the uh, summation function which is sum up all the inputs based upon the objective function then that uh, summation of the input will given into the activation function the activation function is activating the neuron that neuron is processing the input then it produces the output sent to then nearby neuron which is connected with this neuron here we are having different activation functions first one is sigmoid activation function which is following the probabilistic approach towards making the decision and which output range is from 0 to 1 that is which is normalizing the each output of the neuron you look at this uh, plot here the this is starting from the 0 and which is crossing at the point of 0 0.5 this is the threshold value then uh, the maximum output will be the 1 so minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 1 so this is the range of sigmoid function here this range is uh, since this range is minimum it would be more accurate so the equation for this uh, sigmoid function is 1 over 1 plus e power minus z. So z equal to here theta 0 x 0 plus theta 1 x 1 plus etc theta n x n. So this is the equation of the uh, j. So here uh, this produce the value from 0 to 1 in the is the range. The disadvantage is here vanishing gradient problem which is occurring because of it converts the large input in between uh, the range of 0 to 1. For example, if my output of this neuron is uh, 10,000, output of this neuron is 10,000, this 10,000 will be converted into the range of 1, 0 to 1. So, this entire 10,000 is converting into the 1. So, due to this, we are compressing or reducing the value very uh, much lower level that is called vanishing gradient problem therefore uh, here it the derivatives become much smaller which does not give satisfactory output to solve this problem we are having another one activation function for the neural network relu rectified linear uh, un, uh, linear unit so which will solve this vanishing gradient problem and next activation function is hyperbolic tangent activation function which is represented by using the tan h the act this activation function is slightly better than sigmoid function here which appears like a sigmoid function 
you look at that but the range is from minus 1 to 1 so you look at this minus 1 is the low, uh, lowest range and plus 1 is the highest range which are passing through the origin 0 which is passing through the origin 0 so since that is passing through the 0 which is called zero centered activation function which is making very easier to model the inputs that have strongly negative so this side whatever data which is occurred that is called negative then whatever data which is occurring here is positive and the data which is occurring in the, uh, the origin which is called neutral so we can easily classify the data by using a hyperbolic tangent activation function the objective function for this tan h is 2 divided by 1 plus e power minus 2x minus 1 here x representing the samples right then third one is softmax activation function the softmax uh, layer will be the output layer uh, in the neural network to classify the inputs into multiple classes so when we are using the neural network for multi-class classification we can use the output layer by using the softmax activation function its range is from 0 to 1 here the minimum value is 0 maximum value is 1 then the softmax is basically uh, provide the value to the input variable according to its weight and sum of these weights proportionally to each other is 1 that means suppose if I am having the um, output layer softmax for example I am having the uh, multiple multi-class classification I am having the three neurons so here I am having a uh, hidden layer from the hidden layer I am getting the uh, output layer output layer is having the three neurons output layer is having the three neurons so when it is having so here this may get this is the softmax this is the softmax layer so this is the softmax activation function layer each neuron is having softmax activation function so here it may get 0 0.1 this neuron output will be 0 0.2 so this neuron output may be 0 0.7 so here this third neuron is the maximum value so which is the uh, which is the uh, deciding output the sum of these three values will be one that's what given here so here sum of these weights is one that is the given here the multi-class classification problem uses the softmax as output layer and the last function will be categorical cross entropy along with that uh, the negative inputs will be converted into non-negative values using the exponentiation function the exponential function is given here uh, e power i divided by e summation of j is equal to 0 to k e power j so here i is starting i is the range from 0 to k and next one is relu which is called rectified linear unit used in the uh, hidden layers of the hidden layers of the uh, neural neural networks and this is most widely used activation function which range is from 0 to infinity you look at that so whatever value less than 0 will be uh, converted into 0 then it is starting from 0 to maximum to the infinity value it is converging quickly so due to converging uh, quickly the computational time is very low the disadvantage of this one is um, when inputs approach 0 or negative the gradient function gradient becomes 0 the gradient of the given function becomes zero so the network cannot perform the back propagation once it is reaching the zero that is the problem here we cannot apply the partial uh, differentiation to the value zero so to this is called this is called dying relu problem to avoid this unfitting we can go for another activation function leaky relu which is solving the dying relu problem so function for this is f of x equal to maximum of 0 so from the 0 to 
x so x is this value so it will it will take the maximum value between the 0 to x 0 comma x so x is the input to the neuron this function is also called ramp function uh, ramp function which is analogous to the half wave rectifier thanks for watching